Yeah, good day, my people, all over the world. God bless you. Yes, when we talk about fake reverend fathers, bishops, and pastors, you guys think, and some call us an antichrist. I would like you to listen to this reverend father very well. Okay? All those ones that they say they fly at night and with broom. Ah, those ones are not your problems. The witches and wizards, they tell you, travel at night or come in form of bats or old. Those ones are not your problems. The witches and wizards I'm talking about, they are in the presidency, in the National Assembly, in the Senate, in government houses. They are civil servants. They are politicians. They are houses, Igbos, Yorubas. They are Catholics, Pentecostals, Protestants, Christians, Muslims. Those are the witches and wizards that kill more people in Nigeria. In fact, the other witches, I don't even know whether they have killed anybody. But these particular witches or wizards I'm talking about, they are responsible for thousands of deaths. If you are giving money to do road, and you don't do the road, and somebody has an accident because of bad road and die, what do you think you are? You are a witch. You have taken blood. You are giving money to equip hospitals. You refuse to build the hospital or even equip and the medication or medical attention that would have saved somebody is not only the person that's what do you think you are it's a witch we have them all over the place that in nigeria pensioners will be queuing to take their pension of fifty thousand, and they wait and wait until some will die because somebody doesn't want to push their fine or somebody has swallowed the money meant for their pension and you tell me you're a human being no you're a witch which is sweet you are a winch winch and a huge one a winch those are the ones you should be afraid of forget about these ones that uh, some men of god tell you that those are not the ones the witches and wizards that have killed destinies in nigeria they are presidents governors senators members of house of rep civil servants and contractors those are the ones that have killed all these deliverance you are running about for people to release your destiny. those who are holding your destiny they are in asoroku I am very serious about it. It's not the small witches they say they are flying up and down. There's another set of witches and wizards, though, fake pastors and men of God. Those ones who have given people wrong pseudo-religious theories. They have destroyed marriages, bankrupted businesses, and made people to start thinking backward. They even block you from seeing where your real problem is coming. Men of God are coming to a family and brother will become afraid of his own brother. Relatives will no longer eat their food. Before you even shake a relative, you remember what they told you, that they are transferring power. In fact, I am speechless. I don't know what to say again. But Bible says that by their fruit, we shall know them. So, Reverend Father, Oluwama, through your name, by the fruit of your name, it has already demonstrated who you are on this earth. Because we the Igbos, for those who are not hearing Igbo, name Oluoma means good work. Name Oluoma means what? Good work. This is what we are preaching. And when we say this truth, because we are not pastor, we are not reverend father, they will call us antichrist. Did you learn... I hope you learn a lot of things from this, our lovely Reverend Father, today. Let me just pick the point one by one. This is what I have been saying. Some say that I hate Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Why did Jesus Christ we are worshipping made it clear that he has done his part? That he's going back to his father. You should go into the world and do more than he did, in which the white people are doing. The white people are doing what Christ did not do when he was on earth. That phone you are holding, watching me now, is an example of it. It is built by man, not Jesus. Facebook is built by Mark Zuckerberg, not Jesus. They have done greater work in that part than Jesus Christ when he was on earth. Okay, listen. Because whenever you, you watch the video, or especially my video, try to listen very well and pick some point before you comment. Because the world is watching what you are writing. And 
some people's comments on my video, so if I, if I start looking at it, I started crying inside my heart. Let's pick some point there. What have been preaching for long? Our lovely Reverend Father, Oluwama said that the witches and wizards, you are fighting by olive oil and sticker to protect you. That it is your leaders, your president, your governor, your senator, which we are preaching. Your fellow human being, your leaders, practically your fellow human being that is breathing like you. Okay, now, do you know that these witches we are talking about, that it is our politicians, do you know that you are the one sponsoring them? Of course. We are the ones sponsoring those witches. And we are running to a prayer ministries for Holy Ghost fire and anointing water. Do you know that the day, the day you come out to vote for these people we just mentioned now? Let me tell you the power of voting. Whenever you are voting for somebody, you are surrendering, you are surrendering all your ability to that person. There is a music we normally sing in the church. We say, I surrender, I surrender all. That is what your vote means to your politicians. You voted for them, you surrender all your power to them and ask them to rule you practically. Now they have taken that your power and sit on it and started frustrating you. It's not for you to go and collect that your power back. <laughs> not Jesus will do it anymore. Because it's not Jesus that gave them that power, it is you. That hand your power over to them. That is the truth. So when you come out in masses and give your fellow human being power to rule you, to take charge over you on this earth, bro, if that person is not doing the right thing, the power is left for you to go back and collect your power back and look for the responsible somebody to give it to. Are you getting me? So, once you come in or you come out in masses to vote for your politicians, it's left for you to come out in masses and protest. When you make a protest, you take your power back and send that person out of the office where you put him. We are sponsoring witches and wizards, and the fake pastors are destroying us here, celebrating, separating every one of us here. We no longer marry our people anymore because of church. Okay, let us just pick the point one by one. This is the first point. Now, the Reverend Father mentioned that somebody that money has been given to to equip a hospital and he failed to do that, that that person is also a witch. Do we value hospital anymore in Nigeria? No. The man of God has not made us to value hospital anymore. When a true man of God is preaching, you see, he don't reason the way this, all these clusters we are following on Facebook, clapping for them, they don't reason the same. He knows that many people are dying in the hospital, and that is what we are seeing in our office. Sometimes I told if we want to do our program in Igbo Love Themselves Charity Foundation, we will call no less than 15, 20 people. When you call them, my, hello, today is your turn. Okay, come to the office and bring somebody that will sign for you the agreement. That the evil of the search agency is going to take up, take up your case. The family member will say, my mom has died. My sister has died. Some people will even become angry with us. But we told them we can't kill ourselves. Okay? We call no less than 20 people in a day when it is their time for we to present their case. And they will tell us that all those 20 people have died. Bro, people are dying in Igbo land every day like flies. I'm telling you. Thank God for this foundation raised by God. Now, the man, do you see where his concern is? That our people are dying in the hospital. That hospital is very, very important in a country. But today, our bishops and pastors, fake ones, they are telling you that Jesus saved the sickness. But we have asked them and we have been begging them, bring that person that Jesus healed cancer, the crippled one that Jesus made to walk and the blind one that is seen today, which you prayed for and he started seeing, bring it out and come and claim one million naira. As I said before, 
The crepe people that Jesus always heal in, in Igbo land always come from Benue. Or Makode. Bro, all those things are business. Trash. Anybody who has the power to command a crepe person to stand up and that crepe man stand walking again has the power to command Mohammed Buhari to fall down from his seat right now automatically and it will do so. No two words about that. Any body that has the power to command a blind person to see, the person has the power to command the governor of his state to run out of that seat. Immediately, that governor will pack and run away. Why are we being deceived? Why are we watching movie on Facebook, on television, and believing in all these fake people? I call this Father Oluwama. This ministry is a university of Christianity. Father Oluwama, your ministry is a university of Christianity. You will not see a, a lot of crowd, though. No, 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 no. You will never see a lot of crowd in your ministry. No. Until you started doing ba 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 ba. Receive. That is what they want to hear. You will door come actually for magic. Africans want to see magic. Stupid people that don't want to help themselves hopelessly hiding all over the world. Calling on Jesus to come and protect them. When you are in illegal in someone's country, you'll be calling Jesus to come and protect you there. Robbie, stupid. Instead of fighting your leaders back home, practically, for them to keep your country very well so that you go back and develop your country. Because our people say there is no place like home. That is the second point there. That the hospital is very important. They are telling us here that Jesus healed this cripple. Now lie. Jesus don't heal the cripple in Anambra. In Enuguku. In Mbo. In Adazinuku. Adazan. Adazin. Obo. Uke. Abatete. Obosi or nature, Asaba. Iheala, Asia, Okija. Eh? Jesus don't hear Nibuku. He don't hear the crepe in Nibuku. Umochu, Ezinifite. Jesus don't hear crepos, all those places. In no more, Jesus don't hear people in those places. Jesus don't hear the crepos in Oko, Oko. Umunze. In our ifite. Oh, so Jesus don't heal cripple in all those places. The, Jesus only healed somebody from Benue or Makode in Igbo land, the cripple. And they will raise which year up and say, I have started walking again, and they will be clapping. Shame to us. Come to JP Hospital here in Noida. See how people are being treated like king. This India have a hospital where the poor people are being treated free of charge. They will not pay penny. Where is it in, 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 in Nigeria? Thank God for Pastor OPM. Kudos to that man in Portacourt. God bless him. I am asking you, that's your pastor you are defending. What elegancy is that you would die your man of God live on this earth? What will he be remembered for? Like this OPM pastor now. If, if opium pastor is no longer on this earth, his free school will be remembered him. He will be remembered of his free school, his free hospital, his free estate given to the hopeless, to the homeless people. I'm a Catholic, a patriotic Catholic. Look at the population God gave to us Catholic. Where are we? The whole parish in Anambra, is it not enough? If the whole parish in Anambra will contribute 100,000 naira, brother, we are going to build a standard hospital that will be saving our mom, our pregnant woman, that will be saving our life every day. We keep on drinking olive oil. When they are sick, they come to JP Hospital in either India and get themselves a woman educated. And you are there shouting Holy Ghost fire. Hope you pick a point in that hospital issue that he mentioned. Okay? You see how another point there about the pensioners. Those old people that are supposed to be receiving pension as it is done in Europe. As he said that that witches and wizards they are in Catholic, Anglican, Pentecostals. 
Are you getting me? Those witches and wizards are there. Because if they are not there, we will know that all these old people that are supposed to be receiving pension, they are Pentecostals, they are Catholic. When the government fails to give them their right, then we, the church, will rise up and fight for them. The government are still the Anglican, Catholic, and Pentecostals. The politicians are under religion. Religion owns population. We have the power to decide what we will do in this country and how it will happen. No Jesus or any power you are waiting for anymore. We are deceiving ourselves by the way we use the name of Jesus. I keep on telling you that even the European that brought the Jesus Christ for us, for one day you will never you have you will never see a poster of Jesus in their streets. When they want to worship Jesus, they go inside their church and worship God, adore Him that He died for our sin, and they leave. But here I get the Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Monday. And you are praying for prosperity. Why you close your shop down? Start moving around looking for prosperity. Inside store. Inside prayer ministry. Do you see that this man is angry? Sure. Our people that are supposed to be receiving pension that they are not paid. Bro, come down to Nigeria and see how the elderly people are suffering. You see a man of 60 years, he will carry away barrel. Our daddies. Those who kept our land for us to date. Today, our pastors have made us not to help those elderly people. They have called them witch, wizard. Bro, let us do this as a protest. You see those old people in your village, bro, go and help them. Without them, you will not see this world. If they killed you when you were small, you will have not know what is Igbo land mean or Nigeria. Please. Those people are not winch. The winches we are suffering today is what our brother said. He said that another witch is a wizard in, this, in Nigeria is man of God. I don't call them man of God again. I call them man of dog. They are man of dog. Dogs. Fighting for the presidency position. Who will be the governor? That the Holy Spirit tells you who will be the governor. Holy Spirit can tell you who will be the governor or president. But Holy Spirit cannot tell you what Nigeria will do to be better than India. Come down to India here. One state in India is bigger than the whole Nigeria. Go and make a wire. One state in India is more bigger than the whole Nigeria as a country. But here, they are living well. At least they are living better than us. So, you heard it from a reverend father that another witch is a wizard. We are suffering in Nigeria. is man of God, pastors and bishops and reverend. Buying private jets with the money of the poor masses. With Igbo people's money. They are living well. 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 They are openly. You arrest me openly. You want to judge me secretly. Pastor, ボブゴドナイスイズエルマスナイスウェビアンボニナンウォゾニエミヘノディハメニゼルブテリアナニブコーライフオーバー2000イエーズオブロンボシエニアカンドチャゲイブロフィエブテラヤバサイノイハメル
on the day of uh, uh, prayer ministry, they will come and remove it and burn it and tell you that someone buried it. Bro, if any pastor have the power, power to detect where charm is being buried in your compound, bro, that person has the same power to detect another resources in Nigeria that is not oil. Simple. <laughs> if any pastor has the power to detect where the buried charm for you in your shop or your business places in your house, that the pastor has the right, has the power to detect a drug, a drugs to cure HIV. Very simple. Nigeria, let us leave this movie they are doing for us. Why you? Jesus never hear any crippled man in Nigeria for the first time. If such thing happen in Imo State, NTA will cover the news. Are you getting me? Imo State Channel TV will cover the news. If an Anambra person, Oka person, or Umunze person, if an Anambra person, if an Abia person who is crippled, that the village know very well for years, and Jesus said, that person, I started working again, brother, NTA will call, carry the news. Oh yeah, answer me in this video. Is there any of your village member you know very well who is crippled and they prayed for that person in the name of Jesus and he started walking again? Please, answer. Don't lie. Bring the contact of that person. If something happened in a state or in a village, bro, that village, eh, they, will, they, they, will, they, will be of, they will be full of joy, celebration for years. The history will never be forgotten. It will be a, a concrete standard history to be told in generation to come. We left our forefather and started following the white people religion. Yes, we accepted it, but the way we are practicing it, we are doing it in a wrong way. So, Reverend Father Oluwama, I love you so much. So, I am pleading to you, please keep it up. Never you, I have followed all your program. I have never seen you doing bra bra. Who is Ike Chuku? Ike Chuku, raise up your hand. You are from uh, Umaya. Ike Chuku, if, uh, to know your name without somebody telling him your name, brother, that's the same person has the power to detect another resources in Nigeria that is not oil. Very simple. That's in that way. You plan deal, bro. Plan deal, man. Plan deal. God bless you. Keep sharing this video. Educate them. Those who are commenting rubbish, learn from this reverend father. He's a priest. Oh, then priest. Everything he's concluding here that is left for me and you to fight for our right. Simple. You are praying for prosperity. You don't have spots. You don't have water. You don't have light. Your road is not motorable. Do you know how many job opportunities? Do you know how many job opportunities that steady light is giving to a country? Go to Europe and see job opportunities. Enter sports. Are you to start from sports? From production? From where are you to start from? Especially in the Ibo Neja Atolon the Yorobe Gono Noka. Here me buonu. Nna na is na kani wake baki ba waka ni. Those people are the people that killed your three million children during the war. They slaughtered us, they killed us. The Yoruba Buchai, they destroyed our home here. Instead of them to buy land in Ibo land, at least build house for us, replace what they destroyed during the war. They will not do it, they haven't tried it. Rather, they are building only church for you. The Yoruba pastors are generating no less than 900 million naira in Ibo land every, so every week. The Yoruba pastors are generating no less than 900 million naira in Igbo land every week. In the name of sow your seed, pay your tithe offering. They are using it to buy private jet. You supporting evil, your pastor bought his private jet 2.5 billion naira. But your pastor don't have free school in Igbo land so that the poor people could be able to study. So that those pregnant mothers selling pure water at least will relieve them the pains of paying school fees. I pray before December this year, our free school will be open in Interje. So that a small boy like us, under 30, will be the first people to build a free school in Igbo land. But Jesus is saying every day in Igbo land. Jesus is talking in Igbo state. Jesus is talking in Abia. Jesus is talking in Enugu. Jesus is talking in Anambra. But Jesus has never told them. That the poor people need a free school. That the poor people need a free medication center. That that is the power of a good Christian. 
humanity, charity stands for Christianity. God bless you. As you share this.